write the electron configuration notation, orbital notation, and three sets of possible quantum numbers for the highest energy electron in the strontium ion. Okay, so let's look at strontium. Strontium is um, an alkali, uh, alkaline earth element. It's right there. So it's in period 5. This is a 5s2. So there's two electrons on the 5s orbital. Um, however, what's going to happen is strontium is going to lose two electrons to become strontium 2 plus. So it's going to end up looking like the nearest noble gas, which in this case is krypton. So we're really going to draw the electron configuration notation, orbital notation, and three sets of possible quantum numbers for the highest energy electron in krypton. Okay, so let's, um, let's draw this out. First we'll do the electron configuration notation, and that is 1s2, 2s2, so now we're down here. Then it's going to be 2p6, and then 3s2, and then 3p6, and then 4s2, and then 3d, so we go back to 3d, 10, and then we have 4p, 6. Now this would be where we would stop for the ion. If we were going to do neutral strontium, then we would add the 5s2 to that. Okay, so now we want to draw the orbital notation, and that's the one with the boxes, I'm going to just do it as uh, individual lines. So we'll have 1s, 2s, 2p. So the way this is different is instead of just doing uh, 2p6, uh, which is really kind of a uh, 2p, 2p would be a sublevel. When we do 2p, x, y, and z and we break it up, we're breaking it up into the orbitals. So again, this whole thing is a sublevel or subshell. That would be the 2p subshell. And then each individual uh, line here would be an orbital. Okay, so that's 2p. And then next is 3s. And then 3p. Whoops. Then we have 4s, then we have 3d, 10, so that's 5 orbitals. And then lastly, we've got 4p6. Uh, again, we have lost the, two, the 5s. I shouldn't have written the 10 and the 6, that's not necessary. We don't need to show that. We're just going to show the electrons and we'll see what they add up to. So that's going to be 3D and 4P. And then we simply put an up arrow and a down arrow. Watch how I fill this. Watch the order. So we half fill them, then we go back and fill them. Half fill, go back and fill. Follow the pattern. Okay, 3D, we're going to half fill all these orbitals, then we're going to go back and complete them. And then lastly, there's our orbital notation for krypton, which is also the orbital notation for the strontium ion, which would also be the orbital notation for the bromide ion. So keep in mind that bromide, krypton, strontium, 
uh, the selenide ion, the arsenide ion, these are iso electronic, so they would all have the same electron configuration and orbital notation. Okay, now we're going to do the quantum numbers, and I said to do three sets. Okay, well, we're working off of 4p. So we're going to go 4. That's going to tell us what energy level we're on. So if I'm going to do three sets, why can we do three sets? Well, the reason is all of these electrons, all six of them, are they, they all have the same energy. They're all what we call degenerate. So there's actually six different uh, ways of sets of quantum numbers we could use. I just asked for three. You could give six um, because they're all equal. And so there are six different possible highest energy electrons. But what is the same about all of them is they're all that uh, n equals 4 is the same. And they're all p. So remember, the quantum number for s is 0. The quantum number for p is 1. And then if you remember, on a p orbital we have the magnetic quantum number and we could use any of those magnetic quantum numbers for the three that we're choosing as long as we don't use one more than twice. So I'm just going to say minus one, zero, and plus one. It's very important to put the sign but I could have made this zero as long as I didn't make them all three zero because there's only going to be two electrons with zero or two electrons with minus one. Then last, the last quantum number is either going to be a plus one half or a minus one half. And it really doesn't matter which one we use because, of course, there are six different choices. So... I'm just going to use, uh, I'm going to do it randomly. I'll just use minus one half for each of those. So if we were to do all six, we would do the whole thing, but um, this, if we were to do the next three, they would all be plus one half. That would be the only difference. So the, this right here represents the electron configuration notation. This represents the orbital notation, also known as the box diagram. And these are three sets of quantum numbers that could possibly represent any electron here that would be the highest energy electron for the strontium ion.